Last week, Newegg was running a deal through eBay for the Nintendo Wii U, and if you don't know what the Wii U is, it's a follow-up to Nintendo Wii, which I actually have a video on called Retiring My Wii. This is a, a sequel to that console. It's been out for a while, and last Black Friday, they had it on sale for $250 on Newegg, and I passed on it. Well, they happened to have it on sale again for $260, and I decided to pick it up, so I picked it up for $260, free shipping, no sales tax, and here it is in all its glory. This is the Mario Kart 8 bundle. It's pre-installed, so there's no physical disc in there. But this has the game, the, the console, all of the goodies shows it on here. And I think today would be a good day, since I just got this in the mail, to unbox it and hook it up and try it out. Are you going to help me? Are you going to be my cameraman? You setting up the tripod? Clark's ready to do the unboxing. If unboxing means pushing it around the floor, he's got it down. Now, I don't know how this is going to go with a one-year-old being a part of it. Hey, hey, come here. I know you love that camera, but here, look at this. Oh, Roxy's getting into it, too. What is in here? Let's start with this side. All right, here is, oh my goodness, here is the first thing that we got out of here. Roxy thinks that's for her. Got our literature, cables. This is going to be the worst Wii U unboxing ever. Power stuff right here. R rocks, seriously, bro. And there's the sensor bar. That's the uh, stand for it there. That would mean that this side right here, this is the console. And then this is the gamepad controller, which uh, if you remember the Wii U, it had, or the Wii U just had the small remotes. This has a big gamepad to it. Okay. Who's worse? Probably this one right here. Um, let's see what we got here. Ooh, shiny. Hard to do one-handed. I wish I had a cameraman. Anybody? Anybody? There it is. There's the console. That's what the Wii U looks like. Pretty, uh, pretty long and pretty thin. Not too bad. How's that sensor bar taste? Is that good? Oh my goodness. Here is the game pad. Hey, you be careful with that. <laughs> That's Nintendo Wii U. Bow down to the Wii U. Oh my. All right, that, <laughs> there's the game pad. You can play on this. Roxy, seriously. And then, uh, you know, stuff shows up on here, also on the TV, so you kind of play it like this. It's kind of a multi-level effort here. And I'll put that up so it doesn't get destroyed. Put this up so it doesn't get destroyed. Put these manuals up so they don't get destroyed. The thing that Clark was eating was the sensor. Yeah. That will go right up on top of my TV stand, just like that. And that allows you to control the games using the Wii remotes. That allows for all the motion that you're able to do. What's left in the box is the power brick. This power brick is a tactic that the video game companies use to make their consoles smaller. There's some stuff inside here. This is where it plugs into the wall, and this is where it plugs into the system. This is the charger for the gamepad, and this will plug into that, and that plugs into the wall. This is just an HDMI cable, nothing special there. Hey, what did you steal? What is this? At least according to the box, I have everything here. I think I was able to scrounge everything up, uh, but I think I'm in danger of losing my stuff again. This is a uh, babyzilla. So now I just gotta hook all this stuff up. First, I gotta take care of this mess so Clark doesn't get it. So apparently, this is how you play Wii U. You put the controller up to your face, and it's like virtual reality. You can walk around the house. What is that? That's gonna be broken. <laughs> what a goof. I went ahead and put these little stands on the bottom of the system because I'd like to sit it vertically just like that. And I don't have a whole lot of space under here. I'm gonna put it right beside my PS4. I'm probably just gonna move this over like this 
and then the Wii U can sit right there. But you always gotta be thinking about this guy, because his toys are right there, and my stuff's right there. The other day, he ejected a Blu-ray from the PS4 and brought it to me. And it goes in there. And, oh boy, we're gonna do this a little bit differently. Alright, I'll set that in there for right now. What, what do you think? Look good? Now, the fun part is, there's actually holes drilled in through the back here, so I have to feed this through the back and have it come out the front, which is going to be kind of sucky. Whoa, ho, whoa. Hands off, bro. All right, let's, let's see if we can do this. You see it, Clark? Is it coming through? Here. Let's see. All right, there's board number one. Woo! All right, now HDMI, we'll have to do this the same way, but I think I will put it through like this. No. Yeah, I'll put it through like that. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? No, that plays Wii U games. It doesn't play blocks. Sorry. Now, we'll take the sensor bar. Take the twisty off of that. We'll leave that up there so you can't get that in your mouth. Make sure I give you enough slack on this one. We'll put that through like that. That one's going to be the hard one to get out of there. Oh, shoot. I don't think I went. Do it that way. I want to do it like this. I want this up here. And I want to bring that back here. Okay. Now my sensor wire should be right there. Someday you might need to learn how to do this, Corky. Sure. That. HDMI and power. Nope, that's where the Wii goes. Okay, we got it. Next step is to run this big power brick down through here. Oh my goodness, tight quarters back here. You just want to plug that in anywhere there. That'll work. I'll come back and organize that later. I probably won't. After thinking it over, I think a much better place to put that sensor bar is up here. So little man can't grab it. Unfortunately, I'm losing my partner in crime. He is going down for a nap right now. It's his time. Here comes the moment of truth. Blue light. All right, now let's check the TV. Heck yeah. Okay, looks like I have to get the controller set up now, so I will do that right now. Look at my brand new gamepad. Already has schmutz on it from the little guy, but either way, let's power it on. Now it says I have to sync it up here by pressing the sync button. So I did that. Now I have to press the sync button on the back of the gamepad, which I will do with this twisty right here since I don't have anything else to do it with. Okay, I made it to the next step. It says tap the symbols in the order they are displayed on the TV screen from left to right. Spade, spade, heart, diamond. English. Okay. Now on, you'll be able to turn off your console using the power button on the Wii U gamepad. That's great. Let's set the date. It's February 6th today, 2016, 3.11 p.m. Okay. Your Wii U gamepad to control your TV. I'm going to say not now. That's not really necessary. If you're using a sensor bar, please configure the setting for where the sensor bar is placed. Okay, I'll do that right now. It's definitely above the TV. Yes. And I'll click next. And I, of course, agree to whatever they want. Okay, I've got to select my Wi-Fi. 
Oh, I gotta enter my password. I'll be back. Okay, cool. This says, in order to use online services, a system update is required, and it will take some time, but I will do it anyway. It's not as bad as they said it would be. Only nine minutes. I think I can last that long. I can't last 10 minutes, though. No way. 11 minutes? The controller feels pretty good in my hands, but it's just ridiculously huge. It's got buttons all across the front of it there, and then there's shoulder buttons at the top and on the back. And you can use the screen here, like I mentioned earlier, to play some games on there, and you can do go back and forth. There's all kinds of little elements and stuff that they add in, which is a lot of fun, and that's what makes this console different from like a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One. It seriously just finished updating, and now it is updating again. This is brutal. All right, update complete. Now let's see what happens. Looks like it turned off, and now it's turning back on again. Apparently I still have some more setup to do. It's asking whether I have a Nintendo network ID, which I think I do. Hey, there I am. And that's my me character that I used to use, so I'll select that and I'll click register. And register that. Okay. Finally, there I am. Holy crap. There's a horde of me's running towards my character. Now, let's see what we can actually do with this. This is the Mario Kart 8. So I'll click start. And it says preparing. Sweet. Get some volume here on the TV. Everything you're hearing right now is through the gamepad. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. All right. Okay. How the heck do I turn the volume down on this? Oh, there we go. Volume's up there on top there. So I'll turn that down. Little guy's sleeping. All right, so we've got a single player. Let's just see what happens here. Grand Prix, 50 CC. We'll just go with Mario, and we'll just use all of the standard stuff, just to show you. Okay, let's go. There we go. All right, now you can see a little better. Let's play. I wonder what the gas is going to be. I don't even know. There we go. Oh yeah. Get out of the way, Wario. You goof. How do I throw? You. I'm gonna get him back. That's not how you throw? That's not how you throw? There we go. I gotta catch Bowser here. Hate that guy. There we go. Sucker. All right. Pretty cool. I got a banana. I keep forgetting how to drop stuff. Stupid squid. Let's do this jump here. Oh, I love it. This is awesome. <laughs> Sweet. Grind around here. Okay, I think that's a good demonstration of this. So that's my new Wii U. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun with this. I made the decision that I need to get away from playing like the first person shooters and games like that and kind of get into something that's more family friendly that Clark can watch and then someday hopefully play. My nephews also have a Wii U right now so they have a lot of games, we can play those together and I think we're gonna have a blast. I thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.